Hey there guys, how's it going? So this is the continuation of the Twitch video, which was the recording our first task and the recording bar. Uh, this is the continuation as of where we are going to export the data we scraped. As you can see here, we have a lot of scraped menus and we are going to export all of this data into a Google Sheet, which is this button over here. And after we have played the steps and exported all of the data, I am going to show you how to import this data and to set up a trigger and we are going to be changing one of these clicks which is just chatting into a URL so that instead of clicking just one of these categories we are going to be entering the categories we scraped we could do this by simply just going and selecting this step over here but I'm going to show you that step in a different video okay right now we are going to be looping with the trigger and we are going to be exporting the data to Google Sheets. So let's first export this data. Sometimes we are going to get this pop-up, show you in a bit. So this is the pop-up sometimes we get, which is you scrape data uh, and then it asks you where you wanna send it to, if you wanna send it to a Google Sheet or send it to a webhook, that's all up to you. But in this case, I'm just showing you how we can send it to Google Sheets and import data from that same Google Sheet. So sometimes you'll get that pop-up. In this case, I did not, uh, but we are going to send it to Google Sheet. Essentially, that is what that button on the pop-up does. It sends it to one of those two options in the bottom, and we are going to send it to Google Sheet. So at the moment, we do need the Google link. So I am going to show you the Google Sheet I have over here, and we just need to share all of the Google Sheets we have to automations at taskmagic.com. It is very important we share these automations with that email address. Over here, we are going to collect the Google Sheet link. So we just press the button copy link over here. That is all we need because we are going to paste the link up here and then we are going to select the worksheet. It is on sheet one in my case. And as you can see here, we have three headers. It says cat, views and links. So let's just double check that these steps are going to the correct header. As you could see here, it says what step the variables are going to be in which column. But because I don't have the other headers, all of the other steps aren't showing, but that doesn't matter. Regardless, it's going to scrape. I'll show you in a bit. And all of that looks good. That is all we need to export our data into a Google Sheet. That is all. We just need the Google link. We just need to select the worksheet, share it to automations at taskmagic.com, and check that the headers are good. Because we do need headers, that is very important. Every single Google Sheet we have needs a header. So let's press save, and then after we have saved the Google Sheet page we want to export the data to, let's play steps, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this because it is gonna take a while. So as you could see, it says complete, and let's go ahead and open the Google Sheet. I did not touch anything, everything was as it was. <laughs> it was empty, but now because we ran our automation, it is full of links. So as you can see here, it only scraped 31 results because that is what we wanted. If you want to scrape more, you would have to do some pagination. Uh, we already did a tutorial on how to do that. It is in our channel. But for now, we just scraped 31 results. And as you could see here, we have a couple of titles, links, viewers, uh, titles of some videos. Uh, what else? The links of the videos, uh, the links of the users. And here we just have one single element, which was a scraped text. I would recommend you seeing our last video, which was recording first task and recording bar. There we explained how you can scrape text and scrape URL from a list. And over here was, is the scrape text element that we can copy and paste with. Uh, but that's a whole nother video on its own. I'll go ahead and show you as well how we can use scrape list and scrape text in different instances. But for now, I am just gonna show you how we can import all of this data. Now, as you can see, it is super simple to export the data that we scraped in our automation. We just, let me do a small recap. Click here, send to Google Sheet. We have to paste the link. After that, we select our sheet, check if the headers are good, and if everything looks good, click on this button.
That is all the steps we need to have all of this information here in our Google Sheet. Once we have that information in our Google Sheet, we could go ahead and set up a trigger. As I said, uh, we are going to be changing this just chatting instead to all of the list of the categories we have over here. Okay, which is the views column. It should be link. It should be over here. But that doesn't matter. It is just something that if you want to do, keep yourself more organized, you could go ahead and do so. So let's go ahead and change this just chatting click into an actual URL. Okay, let's set up a trigger and we're going to be looping through data. So we are going to select the loop through data trigger and here is where we are going to import our Google Sheet. So let's set up this Google Sheet. We are going to paste the same link that we scraped from. So let's go ahead and share, copy the link. It is the same exact steps as exporting. There is no difference. You paste the link up here, you select the worksheet. After that, you check if the columns are okay. Everything looks perfect. And then here is where we can loop through the data. So we see here that our row one, it is full of headers. So we are going to start our automation on row two. Row two has the first link of the category we are going to enter, which is right now just chatting. And we are going to select row two. That is where we are going to start our automation. How many loops do we want to do? Uh, that depends on you. For this instance, I'm going to do 10 rows. So I am going to select row two through row 11. So that is going to be 10 rows over here, okay? So once we've selected how many times we want it to loop and from where we want the loop to start, we can go ahead and press continue and we can set up a schedule. I am going to show you guys how all of the triggers we have here work, but that will be in a different video. But for right now, we just want to change this clicking into the URL we have over here, okay? So these are the links we exported when we scraped the list from our previous video. And we are going to now choose those links as opening links. So then we can click on videos and then scrape many from there. So what we have to do here is that after we clicked on the category, we are going to select a URL. In this case, the URL is going to be called views, ironically, instead of links, because remember, that is what we called our column. Uh, we can go ahead and change that, but for this purpose, I'm just gonna go ahead and select it as, as it is. The names do not matter. It is just for you to keep yourself organized. Right now, I'm very disorganized, but it's just for the sake of this video. I'm going to erase this step, and then we are going to loop all the way from the URL, which is step five, uh, step five, all the way to the last step, which is, yeah, step, t step 11, which is scraping the category name. So right now, sometimes it might fail because of this step over here. But if you want to see why it might fail, I could go ahead and explain that in a different tutorial on how we can allow errors. Sometimes some categories do not have videos in the second tab. It has it in the third tab. So to avoid that, we can go ahead and fix that afterwards with allowing errors or advanced settings, putting videos here, just to make sure that it is looking for videos. I'll be giving another tutorial more in depth on how that works, and that should be all. We have to just change this Google Sheet now because we want to export all of this new information to a different Google Sheet. That is the only reason why I'm changing this sheet over here. So I am going to show you the new results in one second. You see now it says different headers. It says username, links, name. And yeah, let's go ahead and scrape this. So right here is the instance where you see it selected videos instead of upcoming, where upcoming would be the second tab. That is where the advanced settings or allowing errors would step in. I would prefer the advanced settings just because I do want to select videos. But in case if you have like a pop-up or a cap chat that's just one time, you could go ahead and allow errors. And when that pop-up shows up, it will click it. And when it doesn't show up, it will avoid it.
Okay, so as you can see in the bottom left, it says complete. And this means that our Google Sheet is now scraped. Let me just go ahead and explain what we did right now. This is the exported data that we used. As you can see, it only has 31 columns. This is the one that we clicked on over here. And that's the first step we did. This is the exported data from the second step. The difference here is that you could see the same number of, of categories because those are the only categories we scraped. But because we entered each of these category links and we scraped the users and we also scraped which categories we actually scraped because we scraped text here, uh, this is the difference. You see, we only have one scraped text here. We also have plenty of scraped text here, 10 because we did 10 loops. Uh, so that is why this is way more information on the streamer side, as you could see here. We have 301 results because we looped 10 times through these categories. So uh, yeah, you see, that is how easy it is to export data. And once we have exported that data, we can set up a trigger here uh, I already set it up, so that's why the menu looks different. But if we change the loop, it would be like this. This is how it would originally look like without any triggers. So once we select the loop through data trigger, we set up our page. And once we have put our link, selected the worksheet, and everything looks good, we select on which row we want to start. I selected row two, but because it already went through the loop, 10 times, it is going to be on row 12 now. And here's the amount of rows we want to loop through. I do not want to set up a schedule. And that is all for this to work. And that is how useful it is to export and import your Google Sheet data. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.